The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. St. John's Gospel, chapter 20, verses 21 to 23. We can claim the gifts of the Holy Spirit as the gifts that have been given to us by God to proclaim His message of love and mercy. This proclamation, expressed by Pope Francis in his apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, is a creative and dynamic event that calls us to use all of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, especially wisdom, understanding, and courage in such a way as to bring about the transformation of our lives and the lives of those around us. In the words of Pope Francis, the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. Those who accept his offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness, and loneliness. With Christ, Joy is constantly born anew. In this exhortation, I wish to encourage the Christian faithful to embark upon a new chapter of evangelization marked by this joy, while pointing out new paths for the Church's journey in years to come. The evangelization of our world is indeed an act of grace in which the Holy Spirit works through us to bring God closer to man and man closer to God. Pentecost is truly a special event in the life of the Church the life that is offered to us to be shared with all. We are given God's gift of the Holy Spirit to help us as we work to love God with all our being and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Like a chain reaction that occurs on the splitting of an atom, the coming of the Holy Spirit sets off a reaction in the lives of the apostles and disciples and the life that we embrace as Catholics today. This reaction is the journey we are making towards our complete union with God for all eternity. On Pentecost, all of the apostles and disciples received the gift that made it possible for them to engage with the people and communities where they lived in a powerful and creative way. 
the persons who encountered the apostles were in awe about what the apostles spoke. The life and death of a human being who was also divine, who died and rose from the dead, and who offered his love and grace to all. The accounts of the life of Christ must have been simply unbelievable to many. The gifts of wisdom, understanding, and fear of the Lord that were being shared by the followers of Christ were both generous and transformative. It is those very gifts which the Holy Spirit now asks us to share with one another and with everyone that we encounter. It is in this sharing that God makes himself known as he did in the account of the journey to Emmaus, in the raising of Lazarus from the dead, in the curing of the centurion's servant, in the cleansing of the lepers, in the gift of sight to Bartimaeus. We too are called to accept and share God's love and grace with everyone, to keep the chain reaction of infusion of the grace of the Holy Spirit as an essential living and dynamic reality in our lives.